Welcome. Now, at this stage, we would have created our data source and we would have integrated it into our Microsoft Word document, which is why you're seeing these buttons here at the top accessible. Now, if you're not seeing these buttons accessible, or we're not able to interact with them, meaning not able to click them, for example, this button here, or this one here, or this one here, then the recipient list has not been integrated into Microsoft Word. All right, if that's the case, you need to go back through your process, use existing lists since you'd have created a data source already. And once you've added it, then you should be seeing these buttons here ready for interaction. What we're doing here in this video, we're looking at creating the main document and finishing or merge or creating or merge document. That's the last document that forms a part of the mail merge. Now what I have here is a sample letter that I took off the internet. It's not my, didn't create it. Um, but just for the purposes of the video, I borrowed it. Um, I will cite the source in the section below. Um, what will happen here, we'll be putting in our merge fields to create our main document. And as I said before, we're going to go through and complete our merge. Now, from our data source, we would have created the, would have had the information that we're going to use to personalize or create or merge document. But before we can actually get to the merge the document, we need to have the main document that serves as a template that we use to get the information out. Now we have this letter. What we need to do is, ha is have the, if we're supposed to pro follow protocol, we have the sending address. We have the sending address. So we'll just create one here. Just creating a generic address. Now, what we need here, put in our date, of course. At this point, now we'll need the recipient's address. Now, because we're sending the letter to multiple persons, we wouldn't be putting in anybody's um, information at this point. What we'll do, we'll use the merge fields, and from the merge fields, um, the letters will be personalized for each person. So merge fields, merge field button here. If you click here, you'll get access to all the merge fields, and you select them and insert them. Um, so for example, we're putting in title. You need to select the one, click insert, it goes in. Now, what happens here, you're not able to make any modifications to the document because the dialog box is open. All right, so you need to close, and then put your space in, and then you need to return here and add your second merge field. Again, not able to interact here, so you need to close and add space. A faster way to go about it, instead of clicking on the button at the top, you click on the, what you call now, a shortcut version. You click here, you get the merge fields falling down here, you select last name, goes in, immediately press space. There you see you would need to press insert. It just kind of filters in right away. So you can put in the address, again, enter. And we're using the block format. So everything is aligned to, everything is left aligned. Put in the address. And just look at that over here, two spaces. Now what you have to do here now, um, the information that comes up here, these are merge fields. These will be changed as we go through, as we uh, merge. So what it does, it goes through the database, it finds the title and corresponding first name, last name, address, and parish, and it fits it in per recipient using the same letter. So here we go there. And just to make it a bit more personal, there. 
title, whatever the title is, adding a space, last name. Right. So what you can do is preview the results. And there it goes. So if you want to go through the recipients for each person, you see where it's actually customized. And each person's name fits in as it should. Now, let us do this. Um, what if we want to put the merge field into the letter? Yes, you can do that. So um, let's just add here a name. So we go, therefore, we would like to extend to you. If you want to make it a bit more personal again, you put the person's name in. You can even go with the first name. Right. Just ensuring that in terms of grammar is fine. Good. So if you look at the letter now, therefore, we'd like to extend to you Dolores Elroy Carmen. So with the document looking like this, what you do is save. All right, so we click save and we find our save location and save our main document. So that's the second document created. We look on the data source already. So we just completed the main document 